Hello guys, it's Sean Thompson here from Syndrome Lofts and still my loft is as dark as anything. So yeah, um, I've got my purchase built up now. I'm getting, waiting on another one coming in a pile for up here and another drinker for there. Um, the hatches are getting a bit stiff. I don't know if that would get a right side, but you can see there, without any pressure. You kind of got to lift it up, pull it out and push it down, but it's way too hard to do with just a camera in your hand. I think it's more to do, like you can see here, it's just not want to come down. Give me a second. Pretty sure there's something in there jamming it because when I slammed it down, it was making a crunching noise. So there's something in there. Anyway, got my feeder there and number of perches, tray and basket, and some bob wires I need to go up there. All my supplements and stuff. So, Avi form, Mega form, E plus, Avi Max. That's ultimate the wee bottle. Probably sir. Free access minerals and black minerals as well. I've got my feet here, but I need to fix this because whenever you drop it, you can see here it's spewing out the sides and it drops about a bit of feed every now and then. So I'd think a wee, I'd just sweep all that out because I can't have something like that. Um, so yeah, it's a young bird training basket. And then in here is old bird. Got my perches up there. Um, yeah, I was experimenting with this when I put a couple of pigeons in it, and obviously they kept it quite clean. In fact, no, it wasn't that one, it was one for you. Um, another one is that that's how it's supposed to work. You just pull it out and it falls down. But I don't know, there's obviously something caught in that one. Um, I want to Onto my stop loft. Um, it still needs a wee sweep and we sort out. Here was the one that he was in. I mean, he was in it for like 10 seconds if you're lucky, and he kept it fairly clean. Yeah. Uh, same. I've started to get some spiders nesting, which I can't have. You can see just how much that one comes down. And there's all three behind there. And my feeder for my oh damn my feeder for my stop birds. That needs a wee bit of a refill. And if we go down here oh, onto my young bird feed, it's pretty full. Um, and then I've got my old bird feed, but I've not bought anything for that yet because my old bird won't be in use until next year. Um, the other thing that I will be getting soon is my Avery for at the back. Um, this basket. Sorry about that. I had a little bit of a chat going on. But anyway, the Avery's going up the back. That was my old breeding boxes, and I was using them to go up top to give that wee bit of a clean. And that, they'll soon be going to the skip. That one was getting cleaned out to dry. And I left the other one lying down the ways over there, but I've moved over here just to give it a bit better. And I've started digging here um, for some reason. I think it's to. Oh, yeah, no. That's where my a baby pigeon that had died, so I buried it because I thought it would be the best thing to do because it didn't even. It wasn't even born. It died in the egg. But yeah, um, not much to show off. Kind of close the door over there because it's. A little bit. The hatch is still, still a little bit stiffer. It's very really stiff to put them across. Anyway, I'm gonna take you up top and I'll see you. Sorry, anyway, guys. You can see this is me up on top of my. Loft, it can hold me, which is good. So I'll sit up here, and yeah, kids are out playing. Dad installed a new zip line, which I'm not happy with because it's probably going to end up. Yeah, like that. Um, it's probably going to end up hitting my pigeons when they get out. Anyway, um, I was kind of about to talk about the roof, but there's not much to talk about. Um, 
You can see my old 6x6 six six there that's going to go soon. I might move that up there. Amy. Sorry about that. Um, sister's been a bit muddy. Anyway, we can see the film here. It's still. It, it looks weird. And thank you. Um, yeah, that's why I don't record when kids are out. But anyway, you can see my Avery there and then my chicken's Avery here, which is quite cool. And then on the back, I'm scared in case I actually fall through this, it doesn't feel safe. The guy said it was safe. There's going to be a six foot Avery along the way and then a three section with gate, uh, with doors there and that'll be my Avery up top. And this will probably be where I sit. <sighs> sit up here waiting for my words to crack over that.